Let's have a look at the Enterprise Sales app and the functionality that surrounds that. Okay, so here we have the home screen for the actual sales app. And the first thing we'll have a look at is the customer overview. So from here, you'll have a high level overview of a particular business partner's outstanding quotes, orders, and invoices. From this screen, we also have the option to create new business partners, new contact persons within a particular business partner, new activities, new orders, and new quotes, depending on permissions that have been allowed uh, for each individual user. Uh, so let's say, for example, I want to view a company's data. I can do so from here, okay? So I can click on Electrics Limited, and that's gonna show me all the outstanding quotes, orders, and invoices against them. I can, of course, filter it, and I can just see particular invoices. I can also search for a particular invoice that I wanna see as well. But let's say I want to create a new quote. The first thing I can do is I can click on the plus button and I can click on the new quote button. Here I'll select my organization if I'm part of multiple. And then I'll select my customer. Okay, so let's say I want to use JD Sports. I can amend the valid until date if I want. I can add in a reference number and a title. Uh, I will just say test for you salesperson for this particular quote, uh, the contact person within JD Sports in this example, uh, and then down here I can add my items and build up my quote. Okay, so let's say I am going to quote them uh, for, I'm just going to say some mobile phones. Okay, so I can add in many different text lines and, and I can move these around if I'm going to be quoting them for phones and let's say accessories as well. I can do that just to make it a bit more legible on the actual quote. But let's go ahead and add in some items here. So I will do this and I will filter it down. So we can see the pricing for the item is marked against the customer. So I may have 10 different prices for this particular iPhone. However, I wanted JD Sports in this case to be charged 1500 euro. It automatically picks that up for us. So I can add in many items or I can just add in the one and I can hit finish, which I'll do in this instance. Uh, and then from there, it's just a case of submitting it, okay? Now I can send an email with confirmation directly to the customer as I am with them there and then, or I can just press no and I can send it at a later date. And that's it, okay? So that's it now added. <clears throat> if I want, I can come down here and I can view it. Uh, and then I can actually also convert it to an order. You can see down the bottom there. If I need to edit it, I can come in and I can click on the pencil and I can move it further down the line as well. Um, at any stage, you know, if I need to actually view a quote, again, I can just use the search button here and it's gonna bring up the exact quote. Um, and it just makes it really, really usable as you're out on the road and as you're with customers in particular as well. Uh, so that's a quick run through of the sales app in Enterprise.